Hello and welcome to The Passion Show. My name is Phil and joining me as always is my co-host Kyle. Hello. And this week we have a returning guest, uh, one of our video game experts, Cal. Yeah, video game expert, if you say so. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so in today's episode, we're talking about Sonic. So what's your experience with Sonic? Sonic was uh, one of the first games that I ever really played on the Sega Genesis. And... He's just in the night. Is he's just such an iconic character that you could. It's just something about him that was appealing at the time. Um, his whole game was obviously about well, going fast and completing the levels as much as possible. But on top of that, it was also a puzzle game where you had to solve how to get through this incredible maze. Um, and it was just something in the night is that you just latched onto. It's like this is different. This is different than the games that are out at the moment. And I think it really paved the way for games going on past that point. Yeah, because I suppose Mario was the the 2D platformer, wasn't it? But it was kind of slow and a bit, you have to like bounce on people's heads and it was a bit like, you know, it was getting growing a bit stale, sort of. But Sonic kind of, did he, he introduce this like, you know, the fast aspect and it was sort of like the edgy Mario, wasn't it? Yeah, like, they, definitely, they definitely messed around with the, the mechanics of what was expected in a platformer. Mm. Uh, they definitely wanted to challenge Mario and be like, we want that top spot. That's yeah, what we're yeah. after. Because that's what it is, isn't it? It's the Sonic vs. Mario sort of yeah. rivalry, like which one do you prefer? But it, he is such an iconic character. So going through his game library, what would you say are his sort of most iconic games that you play, like your favourite ones? Um, original Sonic definitely has something to it. It is still... At this point, you know, twenty years later, a bit difficult to play. They have remastered it though, haven't they? They have. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, going on that, uh, Sonic Mania, which is essentially just a, a reimagining of the original games, uh, putting in with new graphics, new processors, mm-hmm. so you could have that fluentness of it that you obviously wouldn't have with an older console. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on top of that, there's some great games with uh, Sonic Colors that just reimagine yeah. what it means to be a Sonic game. Uh, and then there's definitely Sonic Generations, which is definitely a fan favorite. I think can, I played that one. I, I'm not, just... I, wasn't, I never played Sonic that much, but I think I definitely played Sonic Generations. I remember Generations. it being on the PS3, around about that era. Yeah, PS3, yeah. Wii yeah. Uh, sort of area where you could uh, play as modern Sonic or classic Sonic. And yeah. I think that just really mesh the two fan bases together that enjoy clearly two diff- separate different things and just bring them all together. Yeah, yeah. Because I think when you look at Sonic's games, there's a lot of different gameplay format, isn't there? Because it starts off with the you know 2D platformer, you're a spinny ball a lot of the time. But as the games try to like innovate and do new things, that's when the franchise starts to grow a bit stale, didn't it? Like, you know, when Sonic turns into a werewolf and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, Sonic and Lee's uh, was, is definitely at the bot- near the bottom of that yeah, list. Yeah. Uh, and is it Sonic 06? Sonic 06, oh, the infamous like Sonic the Hedgehog game. <laughs> I, I, I can't even comprehend that it's like real. It's it's crazy. I yes. feel like leaving like the Wikipedia for it in the description because it's mental. It looks so weird. It's definitely the lowest rated critic game out there. <laughs> Why is it so bad? Like, uh, I'll be honest. It? It's one of those I never really played. I think because uh, I heard so much about. Yeah, I think everyone should just stay expected. away from it, don't they? But obviously, I think if we start right at the beginning, where Sonic games started to decline, it's when they started to mess with uh, 3D. Uh, levels yeah in that you took away that simplicity aspect of running right as fast as you can skipping as much of the level as you possibly because that's what the game essentially came to learn the level and learn how to complete it in the fastest Mm. time um but when you started messing around with 3d aspects and that, that something about sonic just got lost at that point and it's definitely been an up and down hill sonic sonic the black knight is a clear, <laughs> obvious one where they've gone completely the wrong direction with what Sonic should be. Yeah, because I think as Mario transitioned into 3D, Sonic had to catch up, didn't it? Because it was like always Mario 64. Yeah, yeah, it was always sort of behind it, and I think I think Sonic worked in that format of being a 2D platformer because, like as you said, once you land a level, you can do it. But transitioning that speed into 3D really is like a struggle, I think. And I didn't play that much a 3D Sonic, but playing some, I found it like really jarring, like controlling him. It was like always really difficult for me. Like, do you think that was maybe one of the reasons people have switched off from Sonic a bit? Maybe, yes. I mean, the the strange thing about Sonic is it has 
so many different fans out there that mm-hmm. like different things. And for any other franchise, that would be disastrous for the franchise because mm-hmm. you can't yeah. have so many different people wanting different things because you could never release anything that people like. Yeah, cause But any... somehow Sonic manages it by releasing one month a Sonic Mania that's traditional 2D in there with mm. uh, then releasing Sonic Boom, which is not a good game, but <laughs> it was a 3D game at the very least. Yeah. And somehow you can have both of those in the same year do completely different uh, levels of success. Completely different fan bases as completely well. Completely yeah, different fan bases. Sonic Boom, that was the one that sparked off the TV show. Oh, it was like synergized with it. I think the game was after the, the series. Yeah. Uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I do know that that game had so many bugs in it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the aspects where cutscenes would happen immediately after another scene, and you can see your previous self in the background <laughs> of the scene. It was just, I mean, fair play to the developers. They went back and sorted a lot of those yeah. out. But uh, there was a cheat in that game where you could jump as Knuckles, hit pause, and it'll and come out of that pause menu, and it'll allow you to jump again. And then pause, and you could just repeat that process oh. and basically end up just outside the of the map. Oh, ah. yeah. So, Sonic's kind of quite topical at the minute because of um, the new movie coming out. So, do you have any sort of thoughts on that trailer, on um, this new reimagining of Sonic? Uh, yes, the first trailer. Uh, I hope someone knew that this was bad when they released it. <laughs> like, we're going to cause an uproar about this movie. I don't think they were surprised about I the backlash. Was, I think it's fake. I think that trailer was fake. That Sonic isn't real. Uh, this is this isn't my original thought, but I heard someone say the creators, the people who design in Sonic, they must have put this design in there just as a like, oh here's here's one just to like fill just out Sonic fill out the better, paper. The real one. They won't really pick this yeah. one, they'll pick one of these. And then an executive comes over and goes, That one. Yeah. Like, uh you sure? Like, just... No, that one. <laughs> oh god. It's just some executive who's never seen Sonic in his life and he's like, That blue fairy creature, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like a kid in a in a onesie. Oh, it's, oh it's so terrible. But obviously, the unfortunate thing about it, everyone's talking about the design and the they're reworking it now. Mm-hmm. Which obviously, unfortunately, when you're dealing with 3D animation, there's pretty much no part of that film that involves Sonic that could be reusable at this point. Yeah, it's a lot of they've had to delay the film, haven't they? Because it, of if they're lucky, reading. they've still got the 3D. Uh, the rigs that the models are connected to, mm-hmm. that could possibly be reused for a new model. But if that new model has a different height size or anything like that, that's pretty much unusable. So they have to mm-hmm. rework on this. I just hope the company is actually paying these people appropriately to do all this extra work. Do you think um, the design of Sonic is going to be the core problem of this film? Or do you think even if they did redesign them to look more like the original one, the film would still be good or...? Absolutely not. Uh, <laughs> if you actually look at the trailer, I mean, I can tell you the exact moment I knew this was going to be bad. What's it, that? Excluding the model completely. The phrase, gotta go fast. <laughs> I cringe so hard at that line. It's it's such a meme at this point. You can't... And the character takes it seriously as well. It's, yeah. it's not like a, gotta go fast. It's a, <laughs> gotta go fast. And it's like, no, that's you're being too serious with it, it. It really feels like a sort of a kid's film that would have been released in like the mid noughties Yeah, definitely do you know, along like with, Hop. Yeah, do you know along with like Shark Boy and Lava Girl when, you know, <laughs> Hop and stuff like that. Yeah, just like just pure garbage yeah. just coming out. It feels so Alvin unpolished. And, and it's disappointing <laughs> as well because... Even being like not a massive Sonic fan, I still like I appreciate the character and his legacy and I know we had a lot of fans that would love to see a great film, but it's just I feel like it's not gonna happen for a long time now. No, the story if you look at the trailer, the story there does seem a bit questionable. I think as opposed to the Detective Pikachu film, mm. you've got this Sonic character that obviously doesn't belong in this universe. You've just got too many humans. If you look at Transformers, for example, you make them the core aspect. I can't, They're in every screen. I'm so glad you brought up Transformers. I was just thinking it. It's because so Pikachu, Detective Pikachu, really embraced the world of Pokemon, and it it didn't shy away from you know having this strange, different universe. But as soon as he sat down to write this Sonic film, they must have went, "How can we make him interact with human characters? Just put him in the real world." How can we make Jim Carrey like? Yeah, yeah. In the movie, it's 
I, it just feels so like lazy, like you know, one of those old Transformers films where they focus on the human characters, and I'm like, it's just boring. Like, just have an animated Sonic in an animated world where he has to, you know, defeat Doctor Eggman. Yeah, it's a it's a blue hedgehog that runs fast. You don't need to make it so real. I He's mean, a, there yeah. are. There are TV shows, Sonic X, I believe, is one of them that's done that sort of thing before taking him to the human world. But even then, you still got all the other characters there that help give you that little bit of balance there. Yeah, yeah. So going back to the games again, like just sort of round things off, if someone wanted to play Sonic and wants to enjoy it, what games would you recommend sort of taking into account like how dated they are and also how fun and accessible they are? I would definitely recommend uh, Sonic Generations. It's such such a fun game. The storyline's pretty decent, and it does give you that best of both worlds. There, depending on what you're after. So you could play the two D side or the three D. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think it might be a requirement to play both. But yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, it helps. Like, oh, I've got to go through this three D level. It's fine because there's going to be a two D one soon enough. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, Sonic Colors, Sonic Mania. These are all great games of recent so you don't have to go all the way back to playing an archaic game i suppose even in like in smash bros you can play a sonic can't you <laughs> yeah that's true so that's, uh, it's like not a bad character sonic. either oh no sonic's <laughs> a dickhead in smash i don't like him at all i don't like watching him i don't like playing as him i don't like getting beat as him i saw a conflection there so go on uh, as sonic. i said he's not a bad character i wouldn't Personally, I don't like playing as him because he's a little too fast <laughs> that you end up running off the stage or something. It's like, I prefer control over speed. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, do you know what game I fucking love? What Sonic game? So I'm just going on a little tangent here. Did you ever play that surfing one? It was like a Mario Kart type thing, but you were like, you had like a surfboard. Did you never see that one? I've heard of like Sonic Riders and that, oh, but I think that doesn't that. sound familiar. Sonic Riders. Oh, oh yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Now it's like surfboards. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Not surfboards. They're like snowboards, more like. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I yeah, I vaguely remember. I'm just showing I think I these that. guys a picture. Yeah, Riders. Oh, I got it right. Oh, that was <laughs> sick. That game. I used to play it in like a um, after school thing on like a PS2. I love that. I don't even. Oh, it's sick. I mean, one, one, <laughs> one of my personal things funny about Sonic is it's such he is such a nice character. And they keep trying to bring him back to the modern yeah, age. Yeah. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't because he's such like a, a corny character as well. He's one very of, interchangeable, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, one of the key shows that I remember as as a kid was uh, a show called Sonic Underground. I was literally going to talk about <laughs> that. I grew up with that. <laughs> yeah, where it's it's him. Uh, Sonia was the girl. I don't yeah, remember the boy's his name. brother and sister, and, like, they had the lost mum, and their mum kept, like, appearing, but, like, they never, like, got to her. This sounds like I think it like cancelled before they met their well, mum. The, the key aspect, which we haven't mentioned just yet, is that they use uh, electric guitars and drum yeah, sets yeah. and stuff. It's so, like, <laughs> five things. Oh. <laughs> it's such a thing of its time, but, you know, when I was thinking about what am I going to talk about on the show, I was like, Sonic Underground is such a weird thing that came out in the 90s, but, mm-hmm. you know, it has to be in there. I do feel like Sonic has been in sort of limbo for a while. Do you know where they've been trying to reboot and try new things? Like we said, the Sonic Unleashed, where he's a a werehog. Mm. And then you have Sonic Riders, which I am. It's a personal favourite of mine. But what what do you think's like coming next? Do you reckon they'll sort of, do you reckon he'll be back to his former glory one day? Maybe when the new movie comes out. Uh, Yeah, I believe they'll probably do a Sonic Mania 2 with the success of that, that game. I can see them going into their older games and being like reimagining what's mm-hmm. happened uh, and re coming up with new ideas from that. But yeah, I feel like the movie is probably going to have a big effect on the franchise. Yeah. Uh, I still think, despite everything that I've said, that oh, it's the storyline seems bad, the model, even if they fix it, it's not going to solve that. I still think it's going to be a successful film because at the end of the day, it's not for us who grew up in the 90s and the 90s, it's for yeah. the new generation. and They'll sit through it. They'll watch it. It can be fun for like a sort of newer generation, can't it? So I think we'll sort of wrap it up there. Um, thanks to Carl for being my co-host as always. Thank you, Phil. And thanks to Carl for coming oh, thank on, you. teaching yeah. us about um, Sonic and his trials and tribulations. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any passions yourself that you want us to talk about, feel free to leave them in the comments below because um, we'd love to talk about it. Or hit us up in the DMs if you want to come and show yourself. Yeah, if you want to come on the show to talk about your passion, we'll be more than happy to have you. We're always looking for guests. But um, other than that, we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Goodbye.